So, you got two eyes, two ears, and two nostrils. These doubles allow for greater vision, clearer sounds, and super smelling. Our nostrils are separated by cartilage called the septum. Thanks to this, your nose is able to go through the nasal cycle. That's when one of your nostrils works harder than the other. Every few hours, they switch. This closing and opening of your nasal passages happens when the tissues inside your nose swell and deflate. Having one low airflow nostril at any time allows your sensors to detect slow-acting odors more easily. It gives you a greater range of smell. The nasal cycle also helps your nose to fulfill its functions as a humidifier and air filter. Our finger and toenails are usually a pale pink color. A lighter moon-shaped crescent at the bottom of the nail is known as the lunula. Our nail matrix creates new skin cells. They push out old skin cells to make our fingernails. Any injuries to the nail bed or irregularities that affect the matrix area might also affect the nail growth. Excessive nail biting, manicures, pedicures, and everyday nail injuries can lead to little marks and white spots on your nails. Nails grow very slowly, too. A fingernail can take anywhere between 6 and 9 months to regrow completely. And a toenail takes between 12 and 18 months. It means that the white spots on your nails might be the result of an injury, which could have happened several months before you noticed something was wrong. Brushing your teeth too hard is possible, and it's not good for your teeth at all. It's likely to wear down the enamel and make them sensitive to hot and cold food and drinks. Teeth don't repair themselves, so you've got to take care of them. To develop a new habit, you'll need around 2 months. It usually takes around 66 days on average for the habit to stick. Our heads produce a lot of oil and skin cells. Every minute of the day, people lose around 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells, even when they're not moving. You have around 10,000 taste buds, but there are people, they're called super tasters, that have even more than that. Thanks to this unusual ability, sweet things like oranges, strawberries, and candies are almost too sweet for them. As for bitter things, for example, broccoli, cabbage, spinach, grapefruit, ooh, or coffee, they're simply overwhelming. Fingerprints are unique to each person, but we also have individual tongue prints. I hope we stick with checking fingerprints. I'd hate to have to lick a scanner. Over the course of a day, you lose on average about 60 strands of hair. Teeth are a part of the skeletal system, but they aren't counted as bones. They don't have the same regenerative power that bones do. That's why they don't grow back if something happens to them. A hug longer than 20 seconds will produce the hormone oxytocin. This can lower blood pressure, slow your heart rate, help relieve stress, and improve your mood. When you submerge yourself in water, it can cause your heart rate to drop and oxygen consumption to slow. In recent years, free divers have pushed human lung limits by going down to a record 700 feet. Wow, that's breathtaking! You might be wondering how a person could hold their breath for so long to reach this impressive depth. But the longest someone has held their breath is more than 24 and a half minutes. We experience G-forces at home simply by sitting down on the couch too quickly, sneezing, or having someone slap our back when we're joking. Pilot John Stapp demonstrated a human could withstand 46.2 Gs for a few seconds. That's a force equal to 4 tons. The human lungs contain around 1,500 miles of airways and a total surface area of about 750 square feet when laid flat. Your lungs are on the clock 24-7, keeping you alive and breathing. You take 12 to 15 breaths a minute, which makes about 17,000 a day. Your left lung is slightly smaller than the right one to make room for your big heart. If you don't have a heart, well hey, I can't help you with that. Humans aren't the biggest, fastest, or strongest creatures on Earth. But we're the best at long-distance running. Our legs' special structure, the ability to sweat to regulate body heat, and our upright posture makes us great runners. 7-8 to eight hours of sleep every night is recommended if you want to function properly the next day. 
But there are people who only need 6 hours or less a night. It's actually a genetic anomaly that makes them need less sleep. Once they're awake, they feel totally refreshed. Randy Gardner decided to test how long a person could go without sleep. He and his friends conducted this experiment for their science fair project. It started in 1963 and finished at the beginning of 1964. The guy managed to stay awake and functioning for 11 days and 25 minutes. When tested during and after the experiment, Randy could even play basketball, and his brain was functioning normally all this time. Shedding tears when you cry helps release your stress hormone. It also might stimulate the production of endorphins. This makes you feel good once you're finished. Some blind people can actually see with the help of a process called flash sonar. Using clicking sounds to navigate an area or even ride a bike, they create 3D images in their mind. You can't breathe and swallow at the same time. Well, mostly. To prevent any food or liquid from entering your lungs, a small flap called the epiglottis covers your windpipe. It doesn't always work. That's why you sometimes choke on food or drink. Human bodies contain so much iron, it'd be enough to make a medium-sized nail. Your body has more than 600 muscles. The strongest is located in your jaw and is known as the masseter. It helps you open and close your jaw. The stapedius skeletal muscle is the weakest. It's located in your ear. The human body actually glows, but the intensity of this light is a thousand times lower than what you can see with your eyes. You're about a half inch taller in the morning than when you go to bed. When you move around during the day, the soft cartilage between your bones gets compressed, and you become shorter. Messages your nerves send to the brain travel at over 200 miles per hour. It's like NASCAR having a race in your body. The longest bone in your body is the femur. It's located in your thigh. The smallest bone is the stapes. It's one of the ossicles in your ear. By the way, one quarter of all your body's bones are in your feet. Get equipped for any season with brand new Brightside merch. Click the link and grab your print. So far, the fastest anyone has run is just over 27 miles per hour. This speed was reached by sprinter Usain Bolt in 2009. Bolt could move even faster, but he has a slow reaction time to the starting gun. His stride length makes up for that slight delay, though. Every day, your body produces 330 billion new cells. In roughly 90 days, 30 trillion cells get replaced. Now, if all the blood vessels in the human body were placed end-to-end, they would make around 60,000 miles. Considering the Earth is almost 25,000 miles around, your blood vessels could encircle it two and a half times. Phantom vibration syndrome makes you think your phone is vibrating when it isn't. Those bumps on your tongue aren't your taste buds. They're called papilla. The papilla contain your taste buds and measure the temperature of your food. Their rough texture also helps you eat your food more efficiently. The fingernails on your dominant hand grow faster than on the other one. The more activity, the better the blood flow. Toenails grow more slowly than fingernails because they don't experience as much stress. The less stress, the slower blood flow. The ability to hear or feel your own heartbeat is called rubatosis. This unsettling feeling of your heart beating can happen after exercising or during times of high stress. The space between your eyebrows is called the gabella. It means smooth. When you sneeze, the air comes out of your nose at 100 miles per hour. If your brain was a computer, it would perform 36,000 trillion operations per second. Cats and dogs can be allergic to people. But the culprit will most likely be your perfume or soap, not your natural scent. 60% of your brain is made of fat. In fact, it's the fattiest organ in the body. The temperature of a beehive is about the same as that of a healthy human's body, around 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Bees can also cool down or warm up the hive by flapping their wings. You can burn around 100 calories just from standing up for an hour. Over time, your brain has more and more problems with long-term memory. It gets more difficult to remove older memories. 
It means your brain has to work much harder the older you grow to produce new memories. 